Hello friends. Now we will be seeing the biosynthesis pathway of cytokine. And cytokine in biosynthesis occurs in plant cells. And the cytokine that the plant cells generally produce is known as ZRT. And we will see how exactly this process works. There are two types of process by which the cytokine in biosynthesis take place. One is known as IPMP dependent pathway. Another one is IPMP independent pathway. Now in plant cells, they generally focus on IPMP dependent pathway to produce ZRT, which is the commonly formed form of the cytokine in, in plant cell. So we'll talk about the IPMP dependent pathway only today, not IPMP independent pathway. So the precursor for cytokine in in plant cell is adenosine okay and along with that they need ATP or ATP in order to produce the intermediate which will help the plant cells to produce ZRT. If this adenosine is tagged with either ADP or ATP then they will form dimethylyl pyrophosphate or DMAPP. This is a primary ingredient or intermediate for the synthesis of ZAT, the naturally produced cytokine in plant cells. So once DMAPP is produced, this DMAPP will be converted by isopentyl transferase enzyme or IPT enzyme into other different forms. And this ITP, this IPT will involve both DMAPP with either ADP or DMAPP with ATP. If ADP is associated with DMAPP, then isopentyl transferase enzyme will convert it into isopentyl adenosine 5 diphosphate or IPDP. And if this DMAPP is associated with ATP, then the same enzyme isopentyl transferase IPT will convert them into isopentyl adenosine 5 prime triphosphate or IPTP. But in both the case, whether it produces IPDP or IPTP, both of them will be converted and can be converted by enzyme hydrolase into the naturally occurring form cytokine that is ZAT, which is normally found as a cis trans conjugate in the plant cells.